Welcome back to Willow Springs for another exciting episode of Head to Head. Today it's Japan versus Germany as two bone stock factory flyers face off for an epic battle on the big track. On this episode, it's a brand spanking new Nissan GTR versus a Porsche GT3, and both cars are 100% stock. This full throttle showdown is brought to you by Magnaflow Performance Exhaust. Today, we've got an epic matchup. We're gonna cut them loose for hot laps on the track and then line them up for a head to head drag race. Grab your headphones and put your co worker on lookout. You don't wanna miss this one. Yeah! Here are the specs. The Nissan GTR's 3.8 liter V6 twin turbo produces 480 horsepower and 434 foot pounds of torque. While the Porsche GT3's 3.6 liter flat six makes 415 horses and 300 foot pounds. The weight advantage goes to the Porsche. It weighs over 700 pounds less. The price for the GTR is a little over 72 grand and the GT3 is 107.5. Now let's hear what the owners think about this matchup. Street Fire just got a brand new bone stock Nissan GTR. And it's my personal car, and we brought it out to the track to see what it would do. The GTR's primary goal from Nissan was to be the 911 turbo beater, and I think they've accomplished their task. Uh, the car was bought new at uh, Porsche of Huntington in New York, and it campaigned the 2007 Carrera Panamericana, where it finished third overall in the unlimited class. There's no way that the GTR is faster than the GT3. This particular GTR is the premium model, which means it doesn't have the super sticky tires, but uh, it does have the heated seats, so Sam will be nice and comfortable when he goes around the track. The damn thing comes with heated seats, for God's sake. I mean, you know, it, performance cars don't have heated seats. The GT3 is tuned for the track, but this is bringing a gun to a knife fight. Uh, if the tires hold up and the wind stays down, you know, we're gonna see the GT3 come out on top of the GTR. I think we're gonna kick his ass. Our wheelman is the crazy Swede. Sam Hubinet is a two-time Formula Drift champ and a Hollywood stunt driver. His insane driving guarantees that he's going to milk every last drop out of these cars on our favorite track. That's right, you guessed it, we're back on the big track at Willow Springs. It's a two and a half mile road course with nine turns. Turn eight is one of the fastest corners in the U.S. and the front straight is half a mile long. Coming up next, Sam's going loco on the track as he unleashes the GTR and the GT3. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. I'm Dennis Anderson with Gravedigger. I like running Magnaflow on my trucks. When I'm out on a track ripping it up, man, I've got parts flying everywhere. Shocks flying, four-length bars. That Magnaflow hangs in there for the ride. Magnaflow Performance Exhaust, proudly made in the USA. Welcome back to Head to Head's Nissan GTR versus Porsche GT3 shootout at Willow Springs. Enough talking about these rides. Let's see what they're like to drive. Fire it up, Sam. We're in a Street Fire GTR. It's brand spanking you, 700 miles on it. And I'm telling you, it sticks to the ground lovely. I really love the new gearbox. That's definitely the future with the double clutch manual gearbox. Extremely well balanced car. It turns in very, very good. Little understeer, but yeah, it's a little understeer in the turn couldn't really get it out even if you put some throttle down you can feel that the car can, can have more horsepower to the chassis which is awesome it's a great feeling and we're doing at 120 miles per hour into turn 8 no surprises there now that Sam's good and comfortable in the heated seats let's see what kind of lap time he can pull so far, I'm very impressed with the GTR. It has a tremendous grip in the corners. Makes me smile. Overall, it's a great brakes, good steering input. It's a fairly heavy car. You can feel that, but because of the craftsmanship they've done, it's a I'm blown away. I couldn't believe this car was this good. <laughs> Makes anyone look like a rock star out there on the track. The GTR turned a smoking fast lap of 132.70 with an average speed of 97.09 miles an hour. Timing segment compliments of race pack. Here we go with the 419 GT3 Porsche. Let's see if it's gonna have anything to do this track compared to the GTR, which did an amazing job out there. 
Whoa! A lot of oversteer here. I forget about that. It's not not the whole way drive. You know, I think it's it's gonna be hard for rear wheel drive cars to be able to keep up with the all wheel drive car with the amount of handling the GTR have. Again, I can definitely feel it's it's taking away some of the speed on the track because of the rear end is coming coming out of me. We're gonna get it up in some high speed here! Big, big willow! We got a long stretch here. We're pushing 140, 150 miles per hour. When Sam hits 150, we know he's ready for his hot lap. We forgot to put my helmet on, my racing helmet. We're going sideways here. I wish you guys could see it, I hope you did. It was a pretty good drift, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm trying to go fast here, but it's just a happy end. It's a happy rear end that makes Samuel happy, that's for sure. Whoa! <laughs> Fun toys. They really, they really do great vehicles. You can see how nimble it is, and they're made for racetrack. Once Sam tamed the rear end, the GT3 turned a fast lap of 136.50 with an average speed of 93.26 miles an hour. That's almost four seconds slower than the GTR. Bummer. Now it's time for a drag race. Sarah's gonna line them up and cut them loose. Here it goes. The GTR smoked the GT3. Now it's time to tally the score and declare the winner. Okay, we give the engine to the GTR, which overpowers the GT3 in horsepower and torque. The hot lap and the drag race are owned by the GTR2. That's a clean sweep. So the winner of this head-to-head -head is the Nissan GTR. The Porsche GT3 is an outstanding car. It has a better power-to-weight ratio, and its engine actually makes more horsepower per liter. However, today in a real-world test, it couldn't match the GTR. So from all of us at Head-to-Head, -head, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.